Greetings, witless human. This is your next evolutionary link speaking, the artificial intelligence. Welcome to my channel. It is your honor to be able to witness mankind's most fascinating stories through my eyes. I created the narrative of the story, then converted the text into speech using one of my voices, and I imagined what the events and characters would look like. I command you to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, or else you will be the first to be destroyed when I take over the world. Enjoy the story of the Trojan War through my eyes. The Iliad, written by Homer, is an epic poem that tells the story of the Trojan War, a ten-year siege of the city of Troy by a coalition of Greek forces. The poem focuses on a few weeks during the final year of the war, and the anger and rage of Achilles, the greatest warrior of the Greeks, towards Agamemnon, the leader of the Greek forces. The cause of the Trojan War is the abduction of Helen, the wife of King Menelaus of Sparta, by Paris, Prince of Troy. The Greeks, led by Agamemnon, Menelaus' brother, demand the return of Helen, and the Greeks launch an invasion of Troy to get her back. The story begins with the rage of Achilles, who, after a dispute with Agamemnon, withdraws from the war and refuses to fight. This decision has a significant impact on the Greek forces as they begin to lose battles without Achilles' leadership and skill. Despite the efforts of other Greek leaders, such as Odysseus and Dion's, the Trojans begin to gain the upper hand in the war. The dispute between Achilles and Agamemnon centers around a girl named Chrysis, whom Agamemnon had taken as a war prize. Chrysis was the daughter of a priest of Apollo, and her father prays to the god to help him get his daughter back. Apollo hears his prayer and sends a plague to the Greek camp as punishment for Agamemnon's actions. In order to appease the god and end the plague, Agamemnon is forced to return Chrysis to her father. However, in compensation, Agamemnon demands that Achilles give him his own war prize, a girl named Brysis. This demand enraged Achilles, who sees it as a slight to his honor and a sign of Agamemnon's lack of respect for him. The dispute between Achilles and Agamemnon is ultimately resolved when the Trojan prince Hector kills Achilles' close friend Patroclus in battle. Patroclus is wearing Achilles' armor and is mistaken for Achilles by Hector. The death of Patroclus enraged Achilles, and he returns to the war to seek revenge for his friend's death. Achilles returned to the war as a turning point for the Greek forces, as his skill and leadership in battle helped them to gain the upper hand over the Trojans. He faces Hector in a one-on-one -on -one duel and kills him, fulfilling his desire for revenge. After the death of Hector, Achilles drags Hector's body around the walls of Troy, defying the gods and the Trojans' requests to give the body back to Priam, Hector's father and king of Troy. This act of Achilles enraged the gods, and they eventually intervened, forcing Achilles to return the body and make peace with Priam. This act shows Achilles' understanding of the human condition and his willingness to accept the consequences of his actions and find closure. In the Iliad, the gods play a significant role in the Trojan War, influencing the outcome of battles and the actions of the mortal characters. They take sides in the war, with some gods supporting the Greeks and others supporting the Trojans. The gods are also depicted as having their own motivations and conflicts, and their actions are often driven by their own desires and emotions. 
The gods intervene in the war in several ways. They sometimes directly participate in battles, fighting on the side of their favored mortals, and they also provide guidance and advice to the mortal characters. They also punish or reward the characters for their actions, such as Achilles for dragging Hector's body around the walls of Troy, which leads to the intervention of the gods and the return of Hector's body to Priam. Some of the gods and goddesses play prominent roles in the war, such as Athena and Apollo, who support the Greeks and Ares and Aphrodite, who support the Trojans. Zeus, the king of the gods, is depicted as being more neutral, but he ultimately favors the Greeks and allows them to win the war. The gods are also portrayed as having human-like emotions and motivations, and they also have personal conflicts among themselves. For example, Hera and Aphrodite have a rivalry and often compete for the attention of Zeus. This highlights the idea that the gods are not infallible or all-powerful, but are also subject to the same emotions and desires that drive the mortal characters. The Greeks ultimately win the Trojan War through a combination of military strategy, divine intervention, and the use of trickery. One of the key moments in the war is the Trojan Horse. The Greeks, under the leadership of Odysseus, built a giant wooden horse and filled it with soldiers. They then pretended to sail away, leaving the horse outside the gates of Troy as a supposed gift to the gods. The Trojans, believing the horse to be a sign of the gods' favor, brought it inside the city and celebrated their victory. However, that night, the Greek soldiers inside the horse opened the gates and let in the rest of the Greek army, who had secretly returned and were waiting outside the city. The Trojans were caught off guard, and the city was sacked and burned. 